morning, bro. You ever hear of a class? Don't worry about it, Louise. I don't have any germs. By the way, nice paint job. Thanks. Where's Mama? Uh, she already left for work. Shoot. I talked to her about quitting her job with the cranes. Again? You know she's not going to listen to you. I mean, the family needs her paycheck. What did the cranes do to ruffle your feathers this time? It's just some trouble at the crane mansion last night. I just wanted to be extra careful around there. Teresa home from the cannery yet? Uh, no. Uh, not yet. That's funny. Shift ended over an hour ago. Maybe she's got some overtime. Maybe. Hey, I'm so proud of her. I mean, it seems like she's finally getting on with her life and getting over those crazy fantasies about Ethan Crane. Yeah. Bro, is Teresa home yet? Uh, no. Now I'm starting to get worried about her. Maybe I ought to go down to the cannery. No, I'm sure she's fine. No matter how much she hated the idea of taking that summer job at first, I know it'll be good for her. I mean, it'll help her build her confidence and she can put away money for college at the same time. Mm. I gotta tell you, bro, I was really getting worried about her. I mean, all those crazy fantasies about living the life of the cranes. But she's over it. I mean, she's gotten her first taste of reality and, and I think she's gonna do okay. You want some toast? No, just have juice. And when I think of how it could have gone the other way, I mean, what if the impossible had happened? What if Teresa had got together with Ethan Crane? Lighten up, Luis. It's not gonna happen. You're right. She's finally over that insane crush with Ethan Crane. I'm gonna drop by the station. All right, I'll catch you later. Okay, bro. Hey, you didn't forget about that contest, did you? No, I didn't. But I don't know why Kay Bennett told us to bring our swimsuits. It must be some kind of swim meet. Well, if it is, bro, don't bother to even show up. You know the gold medal's mine. Get over it, man. I'll lap you any day of the week. Oh, yeah, since when, little boy? Since you got to be an old man, baby. Uh, I'd show you how old of a man I am. We don't got time right now. Yeah. yeah. Hey, listen. If you see Teresa, tell her to call me. I want to hear all about her night. Oh, Luis, <laughs> you left your keys by the front door. All right, you're right. I'll see you later, bro. All right. You guys might as well go home. The Lopez Fitzgerald brothers are here. We're ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Kay. Hey. So where's your mom? My mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, she had a lot of stuff to do at home. She asked me to run the contest. Mm -hmm. How far is the swim? Is it a relay? Well, not exactly. Um, in fact, you'll be glad to know you don't even have to get wet. Just oiled. I don't get it. Why'd you tell us to bring our swimsuits? Well, um... So what kind of contest is this, anyway? Oh, don't look now, Miguel. We've been had. Mr. Harmony Hunk? Uh, forget it. <sighs> Sorry, girls. You got the wrong guys. Come on, bro. Uh, no, you can't leave. It'll disappoint my mother so much. You know how much it means to have the carnival be a success? Come on, let me get this straight. Your mother... Grace Bennett actually planned a hunk contest? I know. It's weird. But she was adamant about this. I think she might be going through the change. <laughs> and I know my father, your boss, would appreciate you humoring my mom. Not playing fair now, Kay. The Bennett's are good people, Luis. Maybe it won't be so bad. I still don't like it. Now, I don't like it either, bro. But it's for charity, right? Every penny. You can change with the other guys over there. I'll be glad to put the oil on your bodies. I mean, if you need help. I think we can manage. So what's her name, little brother? Whose name? Girl, put that stupid smile on your face. I know all the signs. Would you believe I don't even know her name? Oh, that's lame. Obviously, I haven't been paying close enough attention to the amazing technique of your older brother. Grab me some oil. No, 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 not that stuff. What's the matter with it? That's old Coach Clark's cure-all. Sore muscles. I mean, remember? People complained of an ache or pain, he would rub that liniment on them. This is the stuff? Yeah. Oh, man, I remember. It would go on nice and cool and catch fire. Uh, you'd be in so much agony from the liniment, you'd forget your aching back. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, try this. It's 
There's enough there for you and me. Just tell me about this girl whose name you don't know. She's beautiful. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Man, you've been bitten. That's love. Really? You ever been in love, Louise? Yeah. Lots of times. Well, it wasn't the kind of love that people marry for. All right. Nobody needs to wear these. Because nobody's beaten a Lopez Fitzgerald, brother. Yeah! Come on, guys. Suck in those beer bellies. We're on. Let's get it. Go. Yeah. 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 Well, if it isn't Ethan Crane. And if it isn't the handcuff happy cop. Well, minus his uniform. Don't tell me you're in this, too. Doing a friend a favor. What's your excuse? Didn't know what I was signing up for. And the best man win. Thank you. I will.